So if you've been diagnosed with hypothyroidism, that is low thyroid hormone, your doctor has probably prescribed one of two medications, levothyroxine, the brand name is Synthroid, or if you've got a non-traditional doc, Armour Thyroid. Here's the thing most people don't know. These are not the same medication, and the difference might be why you're still struggling with symptoms. Levothyroxine is synthetic lab-made. It contains only T4 thyroid hormone, which is an inactive hormone. The hope there is that your body will do what it needs to do with it, which is to convert it into the active thyroid form known as T3. Armour thyroid, on the other hand, is desiccated porcine thyroid, which means it's sourced from pig thyroid glands. And here's what makes it different. It's both hormones of T4 and T3 that's already ready for your body to use. The downside to armor is that it is a fixed four to one ratio of these two hormones. Not everybody needs a four to one ratio. This is exactly where compounded T3 becomes useful. So if your body struggles to convert T4 into T3, which happens more often than you think, you might take levothyroxine perfectly, but your TSH levels might look normal on paper and you still feel terrible. Let me paint a quick picture. You're doing everything right. You're taking your medication every morning on an empty stomach, getting your labs checked, but you're still dealing with these symptoms of crushing fatigue, stubborn weight gain, hair thinning or falling out, feeling cold all the time, brain fog where you can't remember why you walked into a room, dry skin, constipation, mood swings, Sound familiar? Research shows that some patients still complain of fatigue and weight gain when their TSH is in the normal range with levothyroxine. Now, before you run to your doctor demanding armor thyroid, here's what you need to know. For some people, levothyroxine works beautifully. It's the first line treatment for a reason. It's effective, brand dosing of Synthroid is consistent, and it has few side effects for most people. But if you're still symptomatic, armor thyroid might be worth discussing. Some patients feel better on it because you're getting the T3 that your body needs. Your doctor might also consider adding a synthetic rapid release T3, also known as cytomel or leothyronine. That's another option for you. Here's the bottom line. Thyroid treatment is not a one size fits all. The dose and type of medication all depend on your individual needs, your symptoms, your lab work, and how your body processes the medication. What works for your sister, your mom, your friend, or someone on the internet might not work for you, and that's completely normal. If you're still struggling with hypothyroidism symptoms despite being on medication, don't settle. Have a conversation with your provider whether your current treatment is truly working for you. I'm Andrea Dean at Renew Integrative Health. If this resonates with you, save this video, share it with someone who needs to hear it. If you have questions, drop them in comments if you'd like to speak. Link in the bio, schedule a consultation. Take care. Bye.